Connor, how does it feel to be named the starting quarterback? Yeah, I think it feels good. I mean, coming in here, that was obviously my goal. Um, and, and coming in here, getting to know the guys and everything, I'm excited to get to work with these guys. And what was the connection that led you here? Uh, honestly, there there wasn't a connection prior. Uh, just kind of when I announced my transfer, uh, Coach Elder and I got in contact, and then Coach Austin and I got in contact, and that's that's what brought me here. By his accounts, it was a, it was a really good competition between yourself and the other guys. But what do you think it was that kind of separated yourself? Uh, I don't. Uh, I would just say probably consistency. I mean, going through it with all those guys was obviously a great time. Um, obviously, talented guys, a great group of guys. Um, I would just probably say consistency throughout, you know, the time that, that we had to compete in spring and now fall. Um, so that's probably it. Frank, 19 interceptions for you guys last year. Uh, fifth in the FCS. You guys gunning for that top spot this year. How's the secondary looking? Uh, secondary, secondary is looking good. Uh, for like this year, we locked in uh, attention to detail, and we just buying in in the off season, putting in extra work. You know, so. For both of you guys, how do you feel about a Thursday night opener and getting out there in front of the fan base? I feel like it's a great opportunity uh, to showcase what we've been uh, doing the last few months uh, with all the hard work, long hours. Yeah, I think it's definitely a great opportunity. Uh, I mean, I, I think you know, when you go through it throughout this, I think you kind of lose track of the day. So I don't think Thursday is really, you know, a big deal for us, but we're excited. I like about your time at Oregon State. In front of the rules as a, as a true freshman in the Pac-10, Pac-12, or whatever. Just uh, talk about, I mean, you've spent 18 years all playing in big stadiums against big teams. Man. What was that experience like? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, come out of high school and when you get into that, you know, type of type of deal, you kind of realize just how little you know about the game. Uh, and then even now, being, being in it for a while, uh, I think you realize that going through it, there's, there's so much more that you can learn about the game, you know, it's not just, you know, going out there on a Saturday or whatever the day is. It, there's so much more that has to put, be put in, and you know, it's 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 not, you know, high school you can just be talented. You know, in college you got to be more than talented. You got to know your assignment, know exactly what you're doing to be successful. You registered and then you played quite a bit last year. With, what what led to the transfer? Why did you make that decision? Yeah, I just think, uh, you know, there were some things that were kind of up in the air that. I necessarily didn't feel comfortable with, um, and I think you know after talking to my family and, and what the move that was best for me and, and my family as well was to kind of come back a little bit closer uh, and, and to try and take another step. The aerial attack was one part of EKU football last year that never really got going. Um, the bond with the wide receivers, the having Daryl back, just the offense as a whole. How have you seen the, the dynamic aspect to it? Yeah, I think we're we're really talented and super deep as well. I mean, if if one guy goes down, I think every single guy in that three deep pretty much can pick up that slack from the one, two, and three. Uh, so I think it'll be something that that'll be fun, and for me especially, it'll be fun to play with because just getting those guys the ball. I mean, they they can do some some things for sure. Coach keeps talking about how deep this team is, and he seems the most confident we've ever seen going into a season. Do you guys kind of sense that, and, and would you agree with him that this is probably the deepest, most talented team in the last couple of years for you? Yes, I believe so. Um, we have a lot of guys that came in. Uh, it's going to play a big role for us this year. And uh, it's about competition, so I mean, the more guys you have, the better competition, the better, players, better the players play. So I feel like it's, all, it's good for everyone. Frank, I know this is one of those games that fans may look at the schedule and say, oh, that's, that's one of those easy wins, but we remember what happened to Robert Morris last year, so we all, we all know that there's no, no guaranteed wins anywhere on the schedule because you got to come out and play and do, do your thing. Yes, sir. We, uh, we treat everyone like uh, the same competition. Uh, we don't look at one appointment, one appointment one way and look at another another. How much from a player standpoint, because Coach Elder just said he wished it just came down to you guys, but he, he knows that the crowd does make a difference as far as you know the atmosphere. So I guess for either one of you, for both of you, how much does that atmosphere and, and, uh, and everything make a difference in the way you guys play on the field? Who wants it? <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, I think definitely that makes a, an impact because I think you feed off of that, you know, and then you know we'll feed, we obviously will feed off each other's energy, but then when you got a fan base behind you. Uh, I think that just just throws 
throws it on the fire and makes it even bigger and, and gets our energy going uh, and, and us to get their energy going. So I think, you know, fan base can't be under, I mean, that's that's a huge thing. Obviously, it can be an advantage too, so. I mean, you guys obviously won the last four last year and you want to keep that momentum. So this is obviously a, a big big first step in getting that momentum against and keeping that winning streak going. Yes, sir. We are uh, taking one game at a time. Um, We talked about it with Coach, we talked about what the experience was like playing uh, up at Ohio State against Ohio State. What was that like? <laughs> yeah, I've been asked that a lot. Um, <laughs> I think it was obviously a great experience not to just um, go out and play, but obviously to go out and, and you know do some things and move the ball against those guys. Um, I mean, that's that's football at its best right there for sure. I mean, you know, they're going to have, they had guys last year drafted first round, they're going to have the same thing this year. So to be able to experience that and go up against that and see what that's like is huge. You can gather a lot of your teammates actually about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.